Have you ever woke up in the morning, your do-rag be up under the pillow or in between a sheet somewhere and you can't even find it? Or you go to the bathroom and see that do-rag now shifted around on your head and everything, you looking crazy. Then the next night you wake up, you go to bed and be like, my do-rag ain't gonna fall off, so you put the boa constrictor grip on it. And then you wake up that next morning, your head be all sore and you had a headache. Well, this video right here gonna help you with all of that. It's gonna make sure your do-rag stay on, and it's gonna make sure your hair's compressed and laid down the way you want it to throughout the night. Stay tuned. What up, YouTube? This your man, Corey. So this is how we gonna start. First off, I'm gonna show you the do-rags that I use. For one, I like to use the so many ways do rag. So many ways do rag. A lot of people don't like so many ways do rag. A lot of people love so many ways do rag. But this is the do rags that I use, and I'm gonna show you how I put it on. All right. For one, you gotta start out with wearing the do rag inside out on your head. You do not want to wear the do rag with this line right here on on your scalp or on your hair because when you do that, you're gonna wake up in the morning gonna have that ugly line right there in the middle of your head. I mean, it come out, but take a while for your skin and stuff to bounce back. You don't want to go through all that. Just flip the do-rag inside out where the, the threads that tie the do-rag in the middle is up at the top. So, next thing you're going to do, you're going to put your do-rag on your head. Now, when I put my do-rag on, I like to put it on where the do-rag threads are in the middle. And it comes right up to my eyebrows. And then I make sure that it's laid down and flat on my head like normal. Pretty normal. Everybody do the same thing, I'm sure. Or something close to it. But this is the secret way. And this is what I'm going to bring to you today. This is what's going to help you keep your hair laid down. And it's going to help you keep that do-rag on your head. The boo-boo stocking cap. Now... This boo-boo cap right here, I didn't used to wear a boo-boo cap, but I was having the same issues. My do-rag would fall off at night. I'm mad because I done put in all that work. So I said, you know what, I'm going to put a stocking cap on top of it. So I ordered me a little boo-boo cap, right? Man, ever since I put this boo-boo cap on, my, my hair is not, my do-rag ain't came off not one time. My hair done stayed laid down the entire night. When I wake up in the morning, that double compression be having my hair laid like it's been sitting, like it's supposed to be like that. And I be like, man, it, and it helped me with my progress a whole lot too. So what I do with this boo-boo cap is this. I take the boo-boo cap and I fold it up because boo-boo caps are normally pretty big. So I fold it up a couple of times like this here. Once I fold it, I take it and I put it over top of my do-rag. Now, it's a lot of questions on whether or not you put the do-rag on first or you put the stocking or put the boo-boo cap on first. I like to put my do-rag on first because the stocking cap had the material seems like it would snag your hair at night and be pulling on your hair at night and, and cause friction on your hair. But the do-rag is more of a silkier material with a slide along your hair and help maintain and lay it down the way it's supposed to. So I put my do-rag on first. Once I put that boo-boo cap on top of it, it don't have to be a boo-boo cap. It can be a regular stocking cap, whatever you got. So once you get it on, I like to pull my do-rag down all around my head. And what I'm doing is compressing it on my hair. And once I get it pulled down, I flip the front. And once I flip the front of it, then I start wrapping my strings around. Now, me, I tie my do-rag in the back. I tie it in a knot so I know exactly where my where my knot is at so I don't have to keep on tying it all the time. Now, once I get it tied just like this, my next step is I spread my strings apart. Now, this is the issue that a lot of people have with so many ways. They say the strings aren't wide enough. So, 
what I do in this situation is I don't attempt to try to keep them open because it, it take too much time for me to do that. So what I do is I just spread them apart and then I open it when it's on my head so I don't get that line on my head from when you tie your do-rag. Then I grab the other one and I do the same to it. Open it up. Both of them opened up. I take them and I just pull the other one down on top of the one that I got opened up and keep them both opened up where I don't get that line that go across my head just like that. Now, then you got the back. I don't wear my, you can wear your do rag hanging in the back like this right here. I, I don't wear mine like that. But what I do with mine is I take mine and I twist it around and I tie it in a knot just like that. Once I do that, I pull my ears from around the side and I take my do-rag and I just push it down. And that's how you tie your do-rag. Now, what this boo-boo cap is gonna do is it's gonna add extra compression to your hair. So, this really comes in handy when you're woofing and your do-rag ain't keeping your hair down. You can put your, put your boo-boo cap on and then it keep that double compression down. Or, like I wear my, I wear two, both of mine all the time because I have issues with my do-rag coming off. But this right here, well, keep that do-rag snug on your head and it won't move around throughout the night and it won't come off at all. Also, another another thing that this helps with is because you got the compression, the double compression on there with the booboo -boo cap, you don't have to tie your straps around your head, your strings around too tight. If you look at mine, mine's is pretty much, they, they, pretty, they pretty loose. So even if I didn't open them up, they not tight enough to make any line on my head because the stocking cap or the boo boo cap is on top of everything holding it down. Really, the strings aren't holding it down. The boo boo cap is. So, I hope this video helped you out with anything. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the, leave them in the, the comment section below. Also, make sure you subscribe because we're going to be dropping videos at least twice a week to keep you up on game on little small stuff like this. It's so you can make sure you keep your ways on point and everything so you can be on the road to elite just like me. Question of the day, what type of do-rag do you wear? Do you wear your so many ways do-rag like me? You might like the deluxe do-rag. You might like the wave builder do-rag. Tell me in the comment below, we can have a discussion on which one is better, which one works, the pros and the cons on each of them. You might change my mind. Again, make sure you subscribe, comment in the comment section below. Keep the brush in your hand, keep them bristles dancing, because if the bristles ain't dancing, your waves ain't advancing. Peace out.